chosen vessels what's the deal it's drew too you already know i'm back at you again with another video shout out to the galactic family salute to drew nation and i need each and every chosen vessel to press that like button press that share button and don't forget to subscribe because we getting into this one let's talk about it mental tactics to avoid rage and anger from gang stalkers and energy vampires who want your reaction. All right. Mental tactics. All right. Let's get into it. Gang stalkers and energy vampires, what I have noticed, will do these things repeatedly. They strategically put themselves in places where they know you're going to be at. All they are is people that know you don't like them. Some of them. Some of them are advanced. Some of them can see that you are high vibrational. And so they target you out. Others, the people that you deal with on the everyday basis, is more kind of what this video is leaning towards. Energy vampires and, and, and gang stalkers who you are already aware of. People you have avoided in the past or people you presently avoid. These are people who will strategically place themselves in places that they know you're going to be because that is the only way for them to get an interaction with you. These are people who are aware of the fact that you just plain out don't think they're the best type of person for you to be dealing with. So using your discernment, your common sense, and the knowledge, wisdom, understanding that was bestowed upon you by Father God, you know, to stay away from these people. You know that these people are ungodly and Psalms chapter one, verse one, first thing it says is thou shalt not walk in the counsel of ungodly people. Forgive me if I got that wrong. Thou shalt not walk in the counsel of the, un of the ungodly. You're not supposed to be around ungodly people. All right, so that's the first thing you notice is that you need to be away from ungodly people, all right? You need to be away from people that are scornful, all right? These people are ungodly and they're scornful, so you know to stay away from them, right? And because you know to stay away from them, that demon in them that requires attention, that demon in them that requires your, um, your validation is going to seek you out. So basically, it's a cat and mouse game. They think in their mind, that they're more powerful than you and they think that you're afraid of them because you avoid them or you don't want anything to do with them. What we have to do is just start thinking about the situation differently. Just because you don't like someone and someone is annoying or got on your nerves in the past doesn't mean that they have more power in your life than you do, more power over yourself than you do, more power over any situation than they do. Because guess what? You two kind of cancel each other out in a sense because you have no power over anything outside of yourself. You have no power over what people choose to do. You have no power over if people choose to wait for you, if they choose to strategically place themselves somewhere where they know you have to see them and interact with them because they know you don't like them, right? And that's where that's where their power lies. Their power lies with the fact that, hey, I know this person doesn't like me because I feel insecure on why someone doesn't like me or why someone chooses to avoid me. I don't like that. So instead of changing certain things about me, I'm going to just force myself onto this person. But it never works out well for them. You either give them the silent treatment or you either end up giving them the violent treatment. And it's either up to them, you know, it, 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 we could keep it silent, but some, some people will try to push you to the point to where you get violent. Don't give them the violent treatment. If they're not posing any threat to you, there's no need for that. So just continue to give them the silent treatment. It's just, a, it's just another demon allowing himself or herself to be used by the devil to try to extract a reaction out of you because that's their supply. They need energy. They need their next hit. They're crackheads. We're not being, we're not, we're not sugarcoating anything. These people are crackheads 
for the the chemicals and the response that they get from you. Your reaction gives them satisfaction. They're crackheads. Now, back to what I was saying. You and the narcissist, in a sense, when you look at it from a higher level, there should be no friction. There should be no conflict because you cancel each other out. And this this takes some this takes some research. This takes some studying. At least it did for me because it took me a while to be able with my research to connect these dots. All right. That's why you always have to pray to God to lead you in the right direction to for you to learn things. And you always have to ask infinite intelligence, which is another facet, another name of God, to to guide you and lead you into the right direction with certain wisdom, knowledge and understanding so that way you can you can fight against these demons, all right? So basically you and the narcissist, you and energy vampires kind of cancel each other out. There's no power outside of yourself. You have no power outside of anything outside yourself, all right? You have no power over what these people choose to do. You have no power over if they choose to wear green and you're wearing green. You have no power over these people if they choose to stand in front of the way where you're walking to. You have the power to say, excuse me, please move. Or you have the right to give them the silent treatment. Or if they're not going to move out your way, you know it rhymes with silent treatment. We just said it a few minutes ago. I'm not telling you to do that. But what I am telling you to do, if you have to shoulder check, if you have to do a swim move, all right, I, I didn't I didn't start football, but I did play and I did practice. So whether you got to maneuver yourself around someone, whether you have to politely use your body to force someone to the side. All right. These are real drastic cases. These, these aren't your everyday cases. These are people who have hard heads and who don't understand. You won't you, you'll have to do this maybe once a year. You might have to let someone know that. Um, because you wouldn't move out of my way, I had to move you out the way. All right, you'll probably you might have to do that at most, maybe once a year. But you and the narcissist cancel each other out. All right, because there's no power outside of yourself. But also, there's no power in you except there's there's there they have no power over you except for in your very own mind. So you have no power over anything that happens outside of you that is not connected to you. Like you only person that you have power over outside of yourself is yourself. Other than that, oh, oh, you have no power over what people choose to do with their life, right? And people have no power over how you choose to feel about things. You have power over how you feel about things and how you think about things and how you feel about people and how you think about people. All right. Some people may be real bad in terms of their energy is real bad. It stinks. It's horrible. Some people may be real negative. They got a real, um, they got a real bad energy with them. Their, their vibe is terrible. All right. Their energy is terrible. This is someone that you would not want to spend time with. This is someone you wouldn't want to engage with. This is someone you wouldn't want to interact with because you, you, the Bible says, know thyself. You know your patience level. You know what you have patience to deal with. You know who you want to extend a helping hand to or your energy to. And it's not even extending a helping hand because if they asked you, sincerely if they wanted to change you know you wouldn't mind helping them but you don't see any change in them you see them continuing to be the same person day in and day out because of how they act towards you and the type of energy they carry when they strategically place themselves near you somebody's stalking you and somebody's um trying to conduct demonic witchcraft and warfare on you you know to stay away from that person that's not someone that you would want to be around all right, but they have no power over you except through the power of your very own mind. It's time to look at things a little different. These people are doing things that we don't like. These people are, are being around us and we don't like them because of who they are and what they do. That's the only power that they have is to be who they are. Our power lies in our judgment. All right. Where there is no judgment, there is no suffering. All right. So the one thing we have to stop doing is it's OK for us to know that they're evil and they're wicked. But what we have to do is stop labeling their activity 
as something that can affect us. We have to not see it as bad. All right. As as crazy as this may seem, this will help you. This is a, a method of detachment. This is a form of detaching from them and their negativity. You can see them as just another person. You don't have to see them as somebody that bothers you. You don't have to see them as somebody that annoys you because you're doing all that in your mind. This person may be annoying. This person may be bothersome, but you don't have to view them that way. That's how other people are able to be around certain people that seem to drive you crazy. You're like, how is this person able to cope? I know this person. This person seems like an all right person. This person may not be demonic or narcissistic. They seem to be managing. They seem to be handling. It's all about their perception and how they're choosing to view that person. They may not have had those interactions with those per with that person. So how they're viewing that person still is a, 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 like they're viewing that person according to their own belief. So that is the energy that they're going to get from that person. Not necessarily saying how you view a person is what you're going to get from them. There are some people who believe that, but to me, I, I, I see that there's duality. I see that with some people, no matter how you view them, they're just going to act how they're going to act. If I'm wrong, somebody uh, fill me in with some knowledge in the, in the comment section, but I've tried that out, looking at people a certain way, dealing with people a certain way, and I still ended up getting certain energy from them that I wasn't really receptive to that I didn't want to experience. So what you have to do is there are Greek philosophers, all right, and you know the Greek philosophers studied the Egyptians, all right, so we got to give credit when credit is due. There are Greek philosophers that um, said that nothing is good or bad, but thinking makes it so, all right, in your own mind, I, I say that. All right, because there are some things that are just plain out evil. And I don't think I don't think our thinking is what makes narcissism evil. All right. Um, whether you I think your thinking may allow certain things to affect you more than other things. So with gang stalkers and energy vampires, the way you think about them is how you're going to be affected by them. Energy vampires can only get to you through your own thoughts. They pop up on the scene. You start thinking certain things. And now your energy starts to become drained because of what you're thinking about this person. All right. These people are negative. These people are demonic. And when you start to allow that to enter your spirit and enter your mind, the fact that you can't change these people and who they are, the fact that you can't change them from being a negative person. The fact that they're going to be negative to you, if you look at that and see that as something as a bad thing, instead of something that's just happening and something that could just dissipate and go away, then that negativity is going to stay with you. It's going to sit with you. And that negative energy will drain you of your positive energy because at that point you're choosing to allow it to affect you instead of just letting it just roll off your back like water on a duck. Like I've heard some people say, it took me a while to figure out how to do it actually, but you just observe, you don't absorb. And that's, that's pretty much all it is. You observe what people do, but you don't absorb the energy. And you don't absorb the energy by not taking it in, by not looking at, at it as something negative that happens to you. Just see it as that's just the way that person is. That's just the way they choose to act. It has nothing to do with me. It has no power over me because there's no power outside of myself. There's only power. The only power that lies uh, 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 the only power that there is, is within my own mind. So you have the power to not give these people power, all right? Even when you give them power, you're giving them power with what? Your mind, in your mind. You're making these people big, bad wolves when they may be a wolf in sheep's clothing, but they don't have to be a, a big, bad wolf to you, all right? So when they're trying to get your reaction, and they're placing themselves strategically, they're doing things to try to get on your nerves, just see it as something that just happened. 
Don't see it as something that is that has the power to trigger you. Because as soon as you see it as something like, yo, this has the power to trigger me, I'm going to get upset at this. We're making ourselves upset when we get mad because your mind goes through four stages before it gets mad. You have to observe whatever's bothering you. You have to label it as something that's bothering you. You have to take it in, think about it, allow it to get you upset, and then act out on that emotion of anger. All right, so don't um, don't go through that process in your mind. Don't go through that stage in your mind. Continue to learn to let things go. Continue to not see these people as they want to be seen. All right, they want to be seen as someone that is big and bad. They want to be seen as someone that could drain your energy. They want to be seen as a negative person. You may not like this person, but you don't have to be stressed out over them. All right, so stop. Um, allowing your feelings to to be to get all out of whack just because there are people that you don't like around you or doing things that you don't like around you. You don't have to let these things stress you out. And this is how you defeat gang stalkers and energy vampires. All right, your mind is in control of how you feel. So all we have to do is take that power back and control how we feel. Wait a minute, this person may be this. This person may act like that. This person may feel like that towards me. I'm not going to allow myself to to feel like that. I'm not going to allow myself to be triggered by that. So you have to ask yourself, you know, go through the whole stage and process. Why am I triggered by this person? I'm triggered by this person because they're doing something that I don't like. This person is not important to me and they're trying to make themselves important to me by strategically placing themselves in places they know I'm going to be and they know I don't want to see them. They know that I don't like them. And after a while, that makes a person upset. But what you have to do is you have to program your mind and tell yourself not not to get upset over these types of things and these types of people. All right. Your brain is just responding and reacting off of how you responded and reacted in the past. If you gave these people a reaction, when you're not giving them a reaction, your body still may respond in a reactionary way. So what you all you have to do is just take re- t- take control of your body, tell your body, yo, we're not going to respond or react to these people in a negative way. These people may have made us react in the past. They may have caused stress for us in the past, but we're going to release all that stress from past situations, present situations, and any future situations. We no longer view this person as a threat. Don't view these people as a threat and don't fear them. They don't have no power over you. They're nothing to be afraid of, nothing to be scared of, all right? But when you're dealing with people who had the power to drain your energy, That could be something that could make you afraid because it's like, I don't know how I'm going to react to this. You're afraid that you're not afraid of them necessarily. You're just afraid of how you're going to act or react towards their energy and those types of people. So it's more of a you thing and less of a them thing. They could place themselves wherever they want. They don't have any power over you or your mind. And how you take your power back is by realizing that, look, I have control over these thoughts. I'm not going to let them control my thoughts. I have the power to think about something good. I have the power to think about something bad. I have the power to think about something that serves me. I have the power to think about something that doesn't serve me. So my power lies in what I choose to view and think and put my mind on. These people want you to, the devil will use them to cause rumination. All right, rumination is when you're constantly thinking about something over and over again, not accepting um, solutions, not looking for solutions, possibly not even able to look past or find a solution because you're you're uh, constantly letting these entities, envy, negativity, um, jealousy, hate, eat at you. All right, so you have to tell these entities that they can't take your energy. You have to speak to each and every one of them specifically. Hate, you got to go. Envy, you got to go. Jealousy, you definitely got to go. Anger, you have to leave. All right, these are the devils that you have to tell to get behind you. You have to tell those entities to get behind you because they're Satan. They're characteristics of the devil. Hate, jealousy, envy, vampirism. Tell these things to get behind you. All right, and 
you're going to start to feel different. You're going to start to feel your energy come back. You're going to start to feel stronger. You're going to start to feel more powerful in the presence of these people and do not fear. All right. When you're in the presence of these people, have no fear. Tell yourself if you fear uh, being around certain people, tell yourself, I do not fear. All right. And when you tell yourself, I have no fear. When you tell yourself, I, uh, I let go of all fear. All right. You have to see yourself being the opposite of the fear. Go into your mind, see yourself not being afraid of these people. Go into your mind, see yourself not reacting to these people. All right. This is a visual, a visualization technique. When you have time throughout your day, before you have to go outside, before you have to go wherever you have to go, where you meet people or whatever throughout your day, see yourself around these people being as strong as you could possibly be without being affected by their negativity. All right. See yourself being as strong as you could possibly be and see them being weak. See their energy not having any effect on you because you are stronger than them. That's why they follow you. That's why they keep trying to get a reaction. People don't try to get a reaction or energy out of weak people. All right. So this is how you avoid rage and anger. All right. Because these people are going to try to cause anger for you. They do things repeatedly that you don't like. It's like Chinese water torture. One droplet, another droplet, another droplet, another droplet, another droplet until you just go, ah, and freak out. Freak out. All right. Don't freak out. Laugh at these people because they're clowns and they're jokes. When you see them coming, laugh at them because they don't have any power more than we give them. We may have given them power, but the only reason you gave them power is because they have the power to do things you don't like. That's not real power. They have the power to do things you don't like. And because they have the power, free will, to do things you don't like, you didn't, you, um, stopped liking them. You didn't want anything to do with them. You allowed them to become annoying to you in your mind. So now every time they see you, it's a pest. They're a stress. They're a pest. That will drain your energy because it's like, uh, don't allow these people to make you go, uh, you have to find your power and your strength in your mind. And how you do that is by changing how you view people and how you think about people. Stop seeing things as something that's bad or good. Just see it as something that happens and something that will eventually fade away. Something that will eventually leave you. That negative energy will eventually leave. It's like a wave. It's just the, the wave comes in and the wave goes out. Their negative energy comes in, their negative energy goes out. Don't pay so much attention to it. Don't give so much energy to it. Because when you do, you're feeding into it. And whatever you whatever you hate, you bring more into your life. Whatever you have love for, you bring more into your life. All right? So prepare for better things. Prepare for positivity. Prepare for peace. Don't prepare for your energy to be drained. Because when people make you go, oh, there goes so-and-so. You're giving them too much power. We don't realize that we don't have to feel that way about people. We, we, we can manipulate our own energy. All right. Jesus was an alchemist. We're supposed to be alchemists. We're supposed to be manipulating energy, manipulating our own energy. When something is negative, when someone's negative, we're supposed to be not, we're not supposed to be affected by that so easily. All right. So I'm not saying you're never going to be affected by negative energy, but this is a sure way for you to repel and to not be affected by other people's negative forces, all right? Not be affected by the dark forces because that's all they can do. They have the power to be annoying. They have the power to make you not like them. That's not real power. Real power is influencing people. Real power is using the gifts that God gave you to make a change in someone's life and in your life, first and foremost, then in other people's lives. That's real power. But since they're on the dark side, the immature side, the child side, the Toys R Us kid never grow up side, they're going to stay stuck in their ways. And they're going to continue to be this type of person. They're going to continue to do things that they know people don't like. That's immature. That's the, the highest form of immaturity is to do something that you know people don't like. That shows 
that really shows your type of character. All right. It shows how you view yourself. It shows how you view life. It shows how you view other people. People have the right to stay away from you. And when you make that difficult for other people, you become annoying. They know that. So all we have to do is take our patience, our peace up a notch. We have to just like we upgrade ourselves. We got to upgrade our peace. We got to upgrade our level of patience because people are out here trying to get your reaction all right people are out here trying to cause your body to stress and break down all right when you when you are around negative people and certain people who cause you to stress and worry and get anxious that causes responses in your body you have to pray all that negative energy out you have to pray that all that negative energy away from you all right so along with everything that i mentioned in this video prayer is the icing on the cake Prayer is going to help. It's going to help you stay patient. It's going to help you level up. And you could even ask God, God, I need you to level up my patience. God, I need you to level up my peace because these people are really trying me. I need your strength, God. I Not my strength. I need your strength, Lord. Not my strength. I need your strength, God. I need your wisdom, God. I need your peace because these devils are trying to attack me any way they possibly can. I need peace from God. That's the only thing that's going to help is God in this situation. And when I when I use my mind to think God's thoughts, because my ways are not his ways. So I have to tell myself, I think God's thoughts. So that way my ways can be his ways. That way my thoughts can be his thoughts. That way I could use my discernment, use my mind, use the power that I have to evade the, these uh, attacks evade this negativity so, and, and keep my reaction to myself, keep my energy to myself, because the more you don't react, the more you don't give them what they want, the more light you get to keep and build up internally. All right. The ways of the wicked shall perish. All right. They're going to perish. The wicked shall perish because of their ways. They are going to perish because of their ways. They're evil and they're wicked and their their deeds are upon them. So all that stuff they think they're getting away with is going to come back to them full circle. So these are you know, these are mental tactics to avoid rage and anger from gang stalkers because they keep coming. All right. They aren't trying they don't care if they don't get a reaction today they know that eventually they'll get one they are calm they are they're collected all right they keep a cool attitude about themselves because they really don't feel much all right they don't have uh any type of they they have low to no energy all right they have low to no energy and they really don't feel much they don't have any empathy towards other people all right they don't know how to put themselves in somebody else's shoes they don't know how to feel towards other people. So they really don't know how to feel towards themselves because they really don't even care about themselves. They don't even care about going to hell. All right. These people don't even care about God. So what you have to do when you're dealing with people like this is you have to constantly be on guard with your energy, constantly be aware that they don't have any power over you. The things that they do are just a perceived power because they know how to get on people's nerves. They watch people enough to figure out what you don't like. Then they do that repeatedly over and over again to try to get on your nerves. That's not power. We just cracked the myth. We just uh, uh, we just gave away uh, some of their some of their um, major tactics against us. All right. What they'll do is that's just my heater in the background. Don't mind that. What they'll do is they say oh you noise campaigning yourself no i'm not i'm not noise campaigning myself that's just a heater all right so all they all they have power to do is to get on your nerves you have the power to not let them get on your nerves all right it's all about what you choose to do with your mind and the thoughts you choose to think about these people when they continuously do things you don't like you have to overpower and override what they're doing what they're doing has no power over you once you realize that the anger, the rage, it all goes away because you're made. You realize, wait a minute, I'm the one making myself mad. I'm the one that's making myself frustrated. They don't have any power over me. They did something I didn't like. I chose to take it a step further by not only not liking it, by but allowing it to get me mad. So take your power back. Don't allow these people to get you mad just because they're doing things you don't like. Don't, don't get upset. 
All right. Don't look at it as something as bad. Don't look at it as something that's good. Just see it for what it is. Okay. This is a person doing something. Now I'm going to move on and go forward with my life. This is how you trick your mind into staying focused on your goals and your tasks and God, because the devil will come to try to separate you from God. And that's it. All right. That's that's all that they can try to do. That's all they could try to do. Try to get on your nerves, do things repeatedly, do something you don't like and place themselves around you in a place they know you're going to be. That's that's their whole game. They put themselves where they know you're going to be at because they monitor you and they watch you and they stalk you. They know you don't want anything to do with them. So they make it so you have to interact with them or speak to them or see them and Depending on how you look at them and you view them, that causes stress for you because of how you are looking at them and how much power you're giving them in your mind. And there's no power outside yourself. You have no control over what they're doing. They could wear whatever they want. They could they could do copycat magic on you if they want. They could they could copy your style, copy this, copy that, put themselves someplace where you have to see it. It all depends on how you view it. If you allow yourself to be upset, if you allow yourself to worry over it, if you allow yourself to ruminate over it, it yes, it will drain your energy. So stop. Today, after this video, I pray for everyone watching that they take heed to this message so that the draining will become less and less and you'll become more powerful and they'll have less and less effect on you. All right. Almighty, uh, all glory and all praise to almighty God in heaven. All right. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Shout out to the Galactic family. All right. I appreciate all the love, all the likes, all the shares. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. I appreciate all the likes, all the shares. And last but definitely not least, salute to the Galactic family. All right. Thank you for holding it down. Uh, shout out to everybody. Uh, routine maintenance. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. And don't forget to subscribe. I see all you beautiful, amazing people in the next video. All right. Don't stop fighting. Don't stop believing in Christ. Always put God first. Peace.